In the last lecture, we learned how to create a schema and based on that schema, how to create a model using Mongoose. Let's now go ahead and let's start creating documents using the model which we created in our last lecture. Let's go to VS Code. So we are going to create a new document using this movie model. Now the convention is your model name must start with a capital letter. So here I will rename it to movies with capital M. And now using this movie model, we are going to create a new movie document. For that, what we are going to do is we are going to create a new variable. Let's call it maybe test movie. And then we are going to use new keyword and then this movie model. Okay. And here to this movie model, let's go ahead and let's pass an object. And in that object, let's specify our movie document. So here we want to have a name. Let's say name is Die Hard. Then we want to have a description. Let's give some description for this movie. Something like this. Then let's go ahead and let's specify the duration. Let's say duration is 139 minutes. And then let's go ahead and let's also specify the ratings. Okay. And let's say ratings is maybe 4.5. Okay. So here we are creating a document using this movie model. Now we want to save this document in the database. For that, all we need to do is on this test movie, we need to call the save method. And that's it. This save method should create a new document with these details in the database. So in the database, first of all, a movies collection will be created. And in that movies collection, this document will be saved. Now keep in mind that this save method, it is going to return us a promise. So we can consume that promise using then method. And to this then method, we can pass a callback function. And that callback function is going to receive the new document, which has been just created using this save method. Let's simply call it doc. And then what we want is, we simply want to log that document in the console. So let's say console.log doc. But let's say for some reason, if that document is not saved in the database, let me move this then method to the next line. Okay, so if for some reason that document is not saved in the database, in that case, some error will occur. And we can catch that error using this catch method. This catch method also is going to take a callback function. That callback function will receive the error object. So for that, we are specifying this error parameter. In this error parameter, we are going to receive the error object. And all we want is, we simply want to log the error message. For that, let's say console.log. And here, let's say maybe error occurred. And then we want to actually log the error message. So for that, let's use this error parameter. Okay. Now, when I go ahead and save this file, and when we run this server.js file, when this line will be executed, it will try to insert this document in the database collection. Okay, so if I go ahead and if I save the changes, you see DB connection successful. And after that, we can see a document here. That means this movie object, it has been successfully inserted in the database. And since it is successfully inserted in the database, we are receiving a resolved promise. And when we are receiving the resolved promise, this callback function is getting executed and it is logging the document which has been inserted in the database. And that's what you are seeing here. Here, that document has been logged. And for this document, if you notice, this underscore ID field has been automatically added by the MongoDB server. So just like we learned in the fundamentals of MongoDB that whenever we insert a new document in a collection of MongoDB database, if we are not specifying the underscore ID field explicitly, then MongoDB server will automatically add it for that document. And here you can see there is one more field called underscore underscore V. Now we're not going to talk about it right now because it is not that important. Just understand that using this save method, we are able to insert a document into the collection of MongoDB database from our Node.js application. And just to check this, let's also open Compass. 
and there let's go to this movies collection and let's click on this refresh button so when i say refresh documents you can see that that movie object has been inserted here in the database so from the compass also we can verify that the document has been inserted inside this movies collection okay so this is how we can insert a document in mongodb database from our node.js application first we need to create a document using the model and then on that document we can call the save method always remember that the save method is going to return a promise if you want to handle the result promise returned by the save method you can use then method and if you want to handle the rejected promise returned by the save method you can use catch method all right now if i save this file again and if i run this server.js file again again this save method will be called and it will try to save this document this test movie in the database again so if i go ahead and if i save the changes you will see that the server.js has, has started rerunning and now you will notice that an error has occurred and what does this error say it says that we have a duplicate key and that duplicate key is the value for this name field so basically if you remember in our schema we have set this name field as unique so no two movies with the same name can be inserted in the movies collection and we have already inserted one movie object with this name die hard if i go to compass you can see that here and again we are trying to insert a movie object with the same name and that's why this error has occurred okay so this validation this unique validation is working as expected so let's go ahead and let's change the name maybe let's change it to interstellar let's again provide some description maybe something like this and from here i'm going to remove the duration and ratings field okay now if you remember we have set this duration as required and since we are not specifying the duration field here if i go ahead and if i try to insert this document in the collection for that i simply need to save this file and when i save this file nodemon will run this script.js file you will notice that again an error has occurred and here you can see the error messages duration is required field so this is the same validation error message which we are setting for this duration field so here we are setting this validation error message duration is a required field and the same message you will see here okay so we need to specify the duration field because it is a required field let's go ahead and let's do that and let's set the duration to maybe 180 minutes and i'm not specifying the ratings field here and if you remember we have set a default value for this ratings field so when we are not specifying the ratings here in that case by default this 1.0 rating will be used okay so now if i go ahead and if i save the changes nodemon has started rerunning the server.js file and you will see the new document which has been inserted in the database in the movies collection and there if you see the rating is 1 okay so since we did not specify the value for this ratings field the default value has been used here if we go to compass let's go ahead and let's refresh this movies collection now you should see two movie documents all right so in this lecture we learned how to insert a document in a mongodb collection from our node.js application for that we are simply using this save method this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.